What up guys, dating coach Harry Wilmington here. And today we're gonna to be talking about the three reasons why it's imperative that if you wanna have a successful dating life, you need to move out of your parents' house. And we're gonna talk about ways that you can do that. So, you know, I have a wide range of guys that come on here and ask me for advice. And, you know, the advice that I give, I find is overall pretty solid in terms of like being able to help you attract women, hook up with women and get them to the next level. But my advice works best when your life has been situated in a way that it allows you to maximize your opportunities to develop and help grow her attraction. And if there's impediments to that, then you can listen to my stuff all day long. And hey, you maybe end up, end up being that Don Juan type of guy that's able to like woo any kind of lady regardless of your situation. But you're gonna find that it's gonna be quite a struggle if you don't have more things set up to benefit you and more importantly, to have women see you as a benefit to their life than if you don't. And one of the biggest things that could be impeding you is if you're still living at home. So today, we're gonna go ahead and talk about that. As always, this show is brought to you by Get Girls Academy, my exclusive program designed to help you attract, date, and keep the women you want. As a member, you'll gain access to proven strategies, insider tips, and bi-monthly group coaching sessions where we tackle your biggest questions live. Go to harrywilmington.com to learn more and join today. So, if you're doing the things that I'm talking about, you should be starting to have women that want to actually go the distance with you. And that could include wanting to eventually hook up with you and spend more intimate time with you in general at your place. But what happens if you don't have a place? I've had a few clients now that have come across a situation where they're attracting a woman and it seems to be going places, but because they're currently in a situation where they live at home with their parents, then it impedes them from being able to invite women over. Because as you know, that's kind of a weird situation to try to wanna make moves on a girl and hook up with her with your parents possibly in the next room listening, you know? And so, like I said, you could be following all of my steps, but you really wanna consider at some point trying to get out of your parents' house. Now, again, I got a wide range of guys that listen to this, so you can be ranging from ages like 18 to like 35 or even 40 and still living at home. And the older you get, the, the harder it's going to be for women to be able to justify in their head why you as a guy are still living at home with your parents, you know? Uh, when I first graduated college, I was 23 years old, and by the end of that first, the end of that year of my graduation, I ended up living back home. And so I found that, yeah, living at home, it's not that I could not get dates. It's just that the dates would only go so far before it got to that point where they were no longer interested in part because I couldn't take it in my place. And so I wanna go over three of the reasons why that's gonna be such a hindrance to you in your dating life. So the first reason you wanna get out of your parents' place and try to live on your own somewhere is because it demonstrates independence and stability. The reality is if you're living at home with your parents, to women, it's not gonna look like you have a very stable lifestyle. And women are gonna typically be more turned on by guys that are able to show and demonstrate that they live on their own, they're able to stand on their own two feet and make something out of themselves. And so you living at home with your parents is going to not allow her to have that viewpoint. Now you may be thinking to yourself, but Harry, I have all these great excuses why I live at home. You know, maybe I, I fell down on hard times. I just got a new job and I'm working to save money. Hey, I applaud you for being on that journey. But while you're on that journey, you gotta have a realistic understanding of what women are seeing. And when they're seeing you living at home, all they're thinking is, oh my gosh, this guy isn't stable and he's not independent. He doesn't have the ability to be on his own and women want that out of a guy. They wanna be able to come into your world and be under the kind of guidance that your independence is going to allow to be able to lead this, this relationship all together. And so when you're not able to do that, then women get turned off by that. And that only happens even more so the longer you're staying with your parents. So it behooves you for that first reason to try to get out as quickly as possible. The second reason you need to move out of your parents' place is because it is actually killing your confidence and your social status. Living in your parents' house is still in some way continuing the hierarchy of parent to child. And when you're in that situation where you're still being treated in some ways like a child, it doesn't allow you the sea legs that you need to really prove to yourself that you can get out there and make it. And a byproduct of that is not being very confident in oneself. 
It's in having low self-esteem in yourself. And it's not allowing you to be able to say, hey, I can actually make it. And, and that's very important, for, especially for you as the growth of a man, like you growing into your manhood, you being able to know that you can take on situations and handle them, knowing that you can you know, get yourself on your own too and figure out how to be stable. Like those are things that you need to be practicing and the more you do it, the better you get at it. So right now, if you're at your parents' place, you're, you kind of have it on easy street, but that means that you're not actually giving yourself the time and figuring out the ability to figure out what you need to do in order to be that guy that can make it. And so that does play into your confidence in yourself. And it also plays into your social status because if you're living at home, you're not gonna be seen by women as a guy that's at the very least working towards a goal of some kind to make it for himself. And so that puts you on the lower rung for women of the social status. Women are always trying to look for somebody that's going to match them or a bit higher. Now, that's not all women. And hey, there are women out there that you'll end up dating them and they'll be making way more money than you are. But even with that, they want to at least see, does the guy have an apartment? Can the guy afford some kind of car? Like these are some things that just, those are just basic one-on-one things that women are looking for you to have. And so by you living at home, it says to her, you, you don't really have a work ethic that's going to be worth her getting under because she doesn't want to be stuck in that situation. Like she doesn't want to be potentially living at your parents' house also. And so you got to look at that. You got to see what does you living at home say about your confidence level and your social status to women. And women more often than not are going to go after guys that at least look like they're starting to get it together. And that starts with having your own place. Speaking of which, a third reason and a major, major reason why you as a guy need to get out of your parents' house is because you having another place for her to go that is either yours or a place you share with roommates or whatever, it's going to allow for more privacy and comfort for the woman. You see, the woman doesn't want to come to your parents' house to hook up with you. She doesn't want to go over there and be trying to like, you know, have a fun time around you and potentially want to walk around naked and then have your parents around the corner that could possibly pop their head in, you know? Like, it, it, you can get away with that if you're in the teenage years and maybe your early, early 20s, but as you get older, that becomes something that just a, a grown woman does not want to deal with, okay? She wants to think that, you know, in the most intimate moments you guys have, she can moan, she can say whatever, she can walk around with her top off, and it's not going to be a thing where she has to be hesitant, you know? And so you as a guy are trying to make an environment that is as comfy as possible for her to walk into and be like, ah, oh, I can relax here and I can do a lot of freaky stuff with this guy. And her going to your parents' place is not likely to make that happen. Not that it can't, but it's just not as highly likely, okay? So for these reasons and many, many more that I can list all day, you really want to consider where you're at right now and really start working towards trying to get out of your parents' house. Now, you might be that guy that's like, but Harry, okay, I hear what you're saying. I want to get out my parents' place. I'm trying to work on getting a job that'll, that'll help me get out of here, but I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. So I'll tell you, when I was 23, I went back home and I lived with my mom for like 10 months. And all I did during that 10 months was a few things. One, I ended up taking on like three different, well, I'll say two jobs. I had a job where, uh, cause I was a theater major, so I was doing dinner theater, which paid the bills. But also I started selling stuff on eBay. I would literally go to a garage sale, or not a garage sale, I'd go to like multiple garage sales every Friday and Saturday, and I would buy a bunch of stuff, and then I'd go home and I'd sell it on eBay and I'd make about two or three times more than what I spent on all the stuff that I bought. And I did that consistently for like eight months. And by the time I realized, oh, I'm making a lot of money, I was like, oh crap, I can afford to move. And I bought like a really janky car and I got an apartment in Atlanta and I was living in Virginia at the time. So I ended up moving from Virginia where my mom lived to Atlanta. And that was because I knew that I needed to get out. I could not be 24 going into 25 and still living with my mom. So, what does this tell you guys? What this means is that all you should be concentrating on when you're living with your parents is getting out of their house. What does that mean? One, it means not just taking on a job. 
It means taking on anything you can do in order to get extra money. In today's age, that could be something as simple as like, okay, you got a job that pays decently. Also, you could be on Fiverr, for example. Like I do Fiverr gigs where you guys might have seen some ads that I've done across the internet. Like I get paid quite a lot of money to do ads for people that hire me on Fiverr. So that's me doing like freelance stuff. So think about talents that you have that you could potentially monetize and ha ask other people, hey, I'll do this service in exchange for you paying me for it and do that on the side. I don't care if it's like you gotta work Monday through Friday and then on Saturday and Sunday, you can do a side hustle of some kind, get your money together. Also into that point, you need to be sacrificing the, the type of fun time that you wanna have. So if you're a guy that's like, oh, I like to go spend money at like bars and I like to go bowling and I like to this and that, you need to be pulling all your money towards getting your apartment. So you may have to back up a little bit from doing a lot of fun things or from having to like buy various knickknacks that you just like to have or like buying the newest video game or whatever. Like you need to be concentrating all your money and efforts towards getting a place. Now to that end, in terms of the kind of place that you get, I have found that of all the scenarios, the best one obviously is getting your own place, okay? The second best option is getting a place with roommates. I've lived in situations where I had just one roommate all the way up to like two or three roommates. But the point is you having a roommate is still gonna look better to most women than you having your parents as roommates, okay? So if you gotta hook up with two college buddies that are also looking for a place and say, hey, let's pull our stuff together and just get an apartment, fine. Do that, you'll have your own room. A woman is gonna feel more comfortable coming back to a place that you're sharing with others, but that you have your own room in than she will going to your parents' place. But again, whether you have the money to get your own place or room with other people, the important thing is it's going to get you out of your parents' place, okay? But all this to say, guys, if you wanna look more like a grown man, and more importantly, you want the tips that I'm talking about with you to work, because like I said, the tips that I'm going to give you to get women and to be able to hook up with them and connect with them, they will work but only if you set up a situation where you can fully take advantage of the types of results that these tips can potentially get you, okay? So my tips, for example, are designed to be able to help you elevate a woman's attraction and get her to the next level. But part of that getting her to the next level includes being able to invite her over to your place. If you're not able to do that, then it's gonna take a lot more effort to not only get her attraction, but also keep it, in part because she's not gonna view you as a fully grown man if you don't have your own place. So consider some of what I've said and definitely work on that being a goal if you have not already gotten out of your parents' place. Hopefully, some of what I've said has helped you out. Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Harry Dating Convos. Don't forget to visit harrywilmington.com to download my free ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. And while you're there, if you're ready to take things to the next level with your dating life, check out the Get Girls Academy membership program for exclusive strategies and live coaching. Go to harrywilmington.com to learn more and join today. Lastly, if you've got a question you'd like answered on one of these shows, leave a comment below or write me at harrywilmington at gmail.com. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.